Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again today. I'm Lee from thecraftyspark.co.uk and you are joining me in what is now the middle-ish, I think, of a series that I'm doing with my friend Sasha van der Kerkhoff from stampingsasha.blogspot.nl Yes, that's quite right, she is Dutch and she is living in lovely Netherlands but her and I are currently doing a little series for you based around the suite of products from It's My Party. So nip on over when you've watched my video to Sasha's, her link will be in the um, gumpy bit underneath this blog post. Nip on over to her blog because she has got some fantastic projects on there, not just the It's My Party ones. She's just brilliant. She's got some lovely, lovely things. And the best bit is she's actually agreed to be a guest blogger for me. So hopefully very soon she's going to be on my blog. Well, I say very soon. It's next week, actually. She's going to be doing a guest post for me on my blog. I'm so excited. <laughs> So everybody who follows my videos, you really should be following her as well because she's great. Right, today we are going to do a card and I thought we'll actually do a layered card which as you can see <laughs> I already started. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, sorry. But we are doing it um, because look, Stampin' Up! do these fantastic envelopes to match and the amount of times I make cards and think oh it might fit in the envelope or I've had to go and make some envelopes or I've had to go buy more envelopes or I'll stamp it up do lovely envelopes and it matches the Whisper White cardstock which is lovely because it's the, just the best cardstock for printing on anyway so what we're going to do is we are going to make a card with lots and lots of lovely layers we're going to make the inside of the card. Now there's something new, isn't there? And we're also going to do the envelope as well. So lots and lots of things. Hopefully it won't take too long though, because as you can see, I've already cut and prepped lots of it for you. Now, I have three boys and a gorgeous daughter. Because I have three boys and only one gorgeous daughter, I have lots of boy parties that I have to sort out. So I thought I'd do this particular card in kind of the boyishy kind of colours and then I'll start doing some girly ones as well soon. But this one is mainly for the boys and what I've done, I started off playing with the little itty bitty punch pack that matches this set that you get. Um, what's that one? That's the candle. <laughs> I couldn't see what it was there. And you get a cupcake. Actually, if I hold it up. Can you see those? Yeah, you can, can't you? You can see the um, camera, but you can see those. So a candle and a cupcake. Whoops, turn out the right way. Candle, cupcake, and my favourite, a little balloon. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's so sweet, isn't it? So I was playing with my balloons and I punched out some balloons and then I thought, oh, let's put some make a twine on that as well and, and I, I made this little sort of topper I suppose it's called isn't it it's a card topper and it's just it's sort of sat at the side of my desk looking a bit lonely so I thought oh no I'll make a card for it so to actually to do this bit it was really I was going to say fiddly but that's not the word it's not fiddly it was uh I don't know, it wasn't that difficult anyway, <laughs> it certainly wasn't fiddly. Um, but, what am I on about? Right, <laughs> just, just chattering away to myself as usual. Okay, so, um, I, <laughs> oh, I know it's terrible isn't it? Right, I have got a basic black card base. Now I've cut this to fit in my envelope. So this measures, it's um, four and a quarter by six and a quarter so open it out obviously eight and a half by six and a quarter score down the middle one card base all right on top of that we have our first layer voila this is sahara sand and this one is six by four i think 
yeah this one measures six by four so i'm just going to stick this one on first of all now that one's going to go down first hope my head doesn't suddenly appear in the camera because i'm trying to lean forward to line up without putting my head in right so there's our first layer now the next one I went for the light background because this one is more the sort of blending background if you like and this one is quarter of an inch smaller again so we've got six and a quarter by four and a quarter then we've got six by four now we've got five and three quarters by three and three quarters okay so stick this one on as well That one's going in the middle too, like that. Oh, nearly. Is that it? That's it, isn't it? There were thereabouts. Yeah, there we go. And then, um, what shall I do next? I'm going to do, I want that one on the top, that's for sure. I'm going to put this one on next. Right, so. I've got a piece of another piece of Sahara sand that measures this time two and a half by four and three quarters. All right, so two and a half by four and three quarters. This one. And I'm going to put that about, I don't know, how much is that? Five eighths? No, it's not. I'm talking about three eighths of an inch ish so about one centimeter over and about halfway in the middle yeah that's it i'm gonna pop this one on top no i'm not i've run out of snow <laughs> hang on it's got to get a refill <laughs> that was weird wasn't it whoa it's alive i have living snails on my desk Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> How disgusting. Oh, I don't like snails. Ugh, horrible creatures. Slimy and yucky. Hang on, I'm just going to fiddle with this, get this in. There we go, that's it. Um, right, let's pop this on. Right, so that's our next layer. So this is now the sort of the, the power layer, if you like. This is the in your face, as my son says, layer. All right, so I've offset it to the side, but it's still roughly equal distance, top and bottom. Now, yeah, now I'm going to put this on. This is just a scrap that I had sitting on my desk. And when I'm sort of working out this card, I think because this crushed curry card is so vibrant, it kept sort of jumping out at me. And I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to stick that on my card. So, I'm going to pop it on now. Is that straight? Yeah, that'll do. That's it. Now, I don't know how big that is. Obviously, it's four and a quarter. How wide is it? Half an inch. There you go. Just in case anybody is following my measurements. Now, with this, I'm going out with their little balloons. I'm going to put them on a piece of crushed curry like so it's quite good the way it hangs over like that doesn't it i must admit i was a little bit dubious about whether it would be all right or not but now it's on there i really really like it but i'm actually going to put some dimensionals on the back of that rather than just sticking it on i can find where i put them As usual, my desk looks like a bomb site. Um, maybe I'll put them back in my. Oh my god! Oh, crash bang wallop! There they are. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. I keep my dimensionals in a tin because I use so many of them. It just makes life much easier just being able to grab. And they're there, look, see. But obviously, when you then drop your tin, it makes rather a lot of noise. <laughs> so I apologise. <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear, right. Um, where am I going to put that? I think I'll put that. That can go over to the side. I'm going to go about halfway again, I think. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Um, something doesn't look right there, does it? What doesn't look right? I think it's this big bit of yellow that needs to be broken up a bit. Um, where's my enamel dots? There's some. I'm going to put some of these on just to break that yellow down a little bit. Because it's quite a, a vibrant yellow, isn't it? As I just said. Yeah, that's better. Look, it just breaks it up a bit, doesn't it? Don't you think? Just tones it down slows it down <laughs> right so there's the outside of our card now the inside obviously you can't write on black so we've got to do something with it haven't we um do you know what i was just going to cut this to just fit but i'm not going to do that i know what i'm going to do i'm going to cut it that way so I'm going to cut this to four actually I'm going to go just over four inches wide and it is whoops I need a new blade as well by looks things how long is that it's about it's about five and a half inches yeah, so about five and a half inches, so 14 centimetres long by, by what? Four and an eighth, because I've done it too wide. So it's obviously not long enough. However, I'm going to put some of this on it. What did we use? We used this one, didn't we? Um, I must have a scrap of that somewhere I've been making things with it hang on I'm just ruffling through some paper try and find a spare bit uh, 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 that's the loose nope that's not anything oh, I don't know though we could put the loose there couldn't we oh no it's a bit pink my son's gonna I can't give that to my friend he's a boy he's not a girl and the girls can have lots of pink Oh dear. There we go, there's a bit. There's a bit. I'm gonna do it, I think. Unless I've got another piece. Uh, no, no, I haven't got another piece. Right, so how much do I need of this? Because no, I only need a very narrow bit, so I'm just gonna put a narrow bit across the bottom. I'm just gonna cut off uh I'm going to cut one and a quarter inches because I think that's yeah that's plenty and then I'm going to stick that where's that double sided tape I had I'm going to stick just stick this at the bottom of the card this, the panel rather because this obviously this is the panel that's going on the inside of the card now the reason I'm doing it this way round is because I want to cut it so that it fits perfectly all right so i'm going to use my grid paper to line up so if i put that on that line and then i put that on that line that way and i'm straight there we go let's just pull those bits off the end and then I'm going to go back onto my trimmer and I'm just going to trim this so that I've got because I actually want this piece to be how wide how wide do I want it? I want it to be four inches don't I so I'm just going to just slice the edges and then cut all the edges at the same time that way so four inches I said didn't I there we go so now because I've, cut it, I've stuck my little piece on the bottom first and then cut 
I've got that perfect finished edge. So that can go inside the card like that. <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, I do like the way that's come out. Actually, that's a little bit too long, isn't it? I need to just... Yeah, let me just trim it shorter. I forgot about the length, didn't I? So if it's... It needs to be six inches, doesn't it? Is that it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Yeah, we did it. And should we put happy birthday in there as well? No, I'm going to get my son to write happy birthday actually, thinking about that. Hmm. Why not? It's quite obviously a birthday card, isn't it? It'll give him a bit of handwriting practice, which he definitely needs. Why is it boys' handwriting never seems to be quite as good as girls? Mind you, I can't talk. My handwriting's terrible. <laughs> Maybe that's why his is so bad, because his mother's is so bad. Right, there we go. It looks quite nice with that down the bottom there, doesn't it? So there's the front of our card. Now for the envelope, I actually thought I'd kind of mimic what's going on over here. So um, if I use, I'm going to use this, this. Yeah, this is the tail for the. Should I use that? No, I know what I do. I know. I know what I'll do. Because look, this is the. This is the stamp set that goes with it. I'm just going to use the balloons. That's what I'm going to do. With the balloons. And I'm going to use Crush Curry. Because we've got... That's kind of like the, the main pop colour, isn't it? So I'm just going to... Whoops! <laughs> pop some balloons. Just on the front. Just to just tie it all together and that was very simple that took what a second or two and look how much difference that made just putting them on there that looks really good actually I'm going to put some on the back as well because I like stamping I especially like stamping with stamping up stamps because their stamps are wonderful actually let's go mad let's put a few on there shall we <laughs> oh why not it's a birthday celebration after all, isn't it? Let's pop some under there just in case. They're really good, these balloons, aren't they? <laughs> I like those. There's a gap. Oh, there's another gap. <gasps> oh, and a gap. Oh, that's right, look, because that will meet on that one. That's good. Oh, I like that. That's a bit like layer stamping, isn't it? <laughs> it just meets on the middle. There, how about that? Should we put some more on the front? Oh, actually, no, because that will need a name on it, won't it? And if I put too much on the front, my son will turn me off. Right, well, there we go. How about that, then? A lovely layered card with a really fancy inside piece. So simple, it's just a little bit of the paper. And a very balloony matching envelope there you go hope you enjoyed that everybody everything you need to make this card yourself you can get from my website www.thecraftyspark.co.uk just click on the shop now button everything will be there for you nice and simple nice and easy and don't forget what i said go and have a look at sasha's blog as well because i'm sure you will like what you see and I will be back again very soon with another video. See you later. Bye.